November the 12th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at a new comet called Comet Leonard. It's getting brighter in the night sky. These pictures were taken last night from Austria. There's an astronomer there, Michael Yeager, and he sent this into space weather. It's going to it's turning out to be brighter than they thought it would and it could even become visible to the naked eye as it approaches uh, the um, or it's actually going to intersect the orbit of Venus as it dives from the above us through the uh, solar system and then loops back out on the other side of Mars headed back out into what they call the Oort cloud if that exists basically what they're saying is it's so far out it's not orbiting like out to Jupiter or somewhere and then coming back around this thing is a, a once in a lifetime deal I enhanced it somewhat here so I could look at the nuclei and if what you will see as it gets closer depending on the age of this comet is we may start to see it break apart because of the gravitational forces as it slingshots through the inner solar system it'll the uh, gravity of the Sun will take it speed it up every day and then kick it back out on the other side of uh, the orbit of Mars. It says Comet Leonard is coming. The brightest comet of the year is headed for Earth. That's not really true at all, guys. It's uh, not headed for Earth. We may be able to see it, and more than likely we will. It will be 35 million kilometers away on December the 12th. That's a month from today, and could be visible to the naked eye in the early morning sky. And that was what it looked like last night. Saying, uh, again, Michael Yeager took this last night using an 11-inch telescope. The comet was shining like a ninth magnitude star in the northern constellation of Canes, which means the hunting dogs. A close-up insert reveals a narrow uh, jet of gas emerging from the comet's atmosphere. And guys, you could see that in the pictures. It's called an ion tail. During the next month, the comet's brightness will sharply increase, perhaps more than a hundredfold. Most forecasters agree that Comet Leonard will reach magnitude a plus four, an easy target for small telescopes and visible to the naked eye from dark sky sites during the second week of December. The, in this chart, guys, in the blue line is the predicted brightness. The magnitude is on the left, the dates are on the bottom, and the little black check marks are the observed brightnesses. So it's going to peak around uh, December 12th. It says the comet approaches this as the comet approaches the sun in early January, forward scattering of sunlight through the comet's dusty atmosphere could create an additional surge to the brightness to a magnitude plus one. And this chart only goes up to a four. The same phenomena happened with comet McNaught. But uh, guys, here's the JPL modeling on it as I pull it up. Earth is in the blue line, Venus purple, Mercury's in the pink, and Mars is in the red. These are the orbits, the sun's in the center. Comet Leonard is in the white line, and there's a small dot right above the name there. It's called C2020 um, Leonard. Anyway, as it's diving down, it has an almost perfect intersection with Venus, and Venus is headed that way, but it looks like it's going to dive just in front of it. What is that telling us? Notice where the Earth will be as we get uh, closer to uh, the uh, comet getting, kind of going through what we call the ecliptic of the inner solar system. Venus is moving forward. The comet's diving right in front of it. Check that out. It would be amazing if you could see it from Venus, but it looks like it's going to dive just before Venus gets there. Notice your time stamp at the bottom now, December the 16th, 17th. It's starting to dive below our ecliptic. Uh, southern hemisphere will become it will become more visible in the southern hemisphere at that time and then it's going to dive through guys go back and uh, the sun's gravity is going to slingshot it back on the other side of the red line which is the mars line and that will be the path of it now this is just a quick update we're going to start getting more and more images coming in on space weather and other sources and we'll be able to tell more about it but right now this is going to be for people that enjoy this type stuff, a very good uh, December winter gift. Now, because that it's uh, going to dive in through the orbit of Venus or through the orbital plane, that means we'll be looking into the west, right? B between, uh, we'll be looking towards the west. That's where the sun sets. After, after that goes down, it should become more visible each night. We may even see some daylight images of it, but guys, Another thing about that is we have satellites 
that give us earth-facing perspectives of the sun. In other words, they're close enough to our planet and looking at the sun that we may catch this on Lasco C2 or C3 satellites, and that would be incredible. McNaught was like that. It was a large comet, and uh, we got brilliant um, images. As it came close to the sun, we started seeing the electric universe come alive and the sun start arcing out towards Comet McNaught. But uh, this is a short video again. I'm, we're going to update as we go through the next few weeks. We're going to get some very interesting pictures. So guys, prepare for it. If you've got, you, if you can see it with the naked eye, you can see it very good with telescopes or, or binoculars. So and most people have one or the other. And if you get images, put them on your YouTube channel or your Twitter or something. Let us know about them so we can check them out ourselves. But it, again, I just wanted to bring it up. We haven't had one of these that was going to be this visible in quite a while. And on that uh, blue line, we saw where they were predicting the brightness of the comet uh, going up to a plus four. And if, if it does, what they're saying goes to a plus one, this thing is going to be a brilliant object in the night sky. You know, comets have always been hailed as um, harbingers of uh, doom or wars and things like that. You know, that's not always the uh, necessary i think some of those things just happen at the same time because there's uh if when you see a comet there's probably conflict somewhere on the planet some type of war and we know that's going on and uh, so we'll just have to wait and see but it is a very interesting uh, object to look at they're beautiful that uh, blue green glow but we're going to watch it guys just kind of a heads up it's only one photograph now, but as more come in, we can analyze it a little closer. And it, this thing will pick up a lot of speed. The, it could be traveling at this distance from Earth at about a million miles a day. The closer it gets to the sun, the gravity will pick that up. We saw it pick up the speed of ice sun to about 11 million miles a day before it came very close to the sun. They, matter of fact, NASA thought it was going to hit the sun. I said it wasn't. I said the nuclei had, by that time, or the nucleus of the um, comet had spread apart, broken into many pieces. And we watched it slingshot behind the sun and then come up into a, uh, thousands of pieces. And I think I measured it at about 20 million miles wide, the debris trail. It looked like an arrow. But we'll see what happens. Again, just one photograph now, but this is going to get very interesting, guys, over the next few weeks. It's a heads up. Be safe.